going on, Nerdtubers and Geek Viewers of the World? Mr. Dark Phoenix is back with the Holy Trinity to bring you guys my little Q&A slash thank you for 3,000 subscribers. Y'all just don't cease to amaze me, really. Even like, because uh, you guys know I went to Atlantic City Boardwalk Con and I met two people that watch my content. Uh, the same guy, Tom, again. I met him at New York Comic Con, I think, last year or two years ago. And Renneth, T Top Top G1. That's what I call her name anyway. But it just really amazes me how much my content really means a lot to you guys. And this is my dream. This is what I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to entertain. I've always wanted to bring positive positivity to people's lives. A lot of the YouTubers that I love and I watch do the same thing for me. So for me to bring even a tenth of that to you guys really means a lot. And thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting talking to me outside of the YouTube world like on Facebook or Twitter and all that thank you for following me on everything that I have and I really appreciate and love all you guys um, but let's go into some questions uh, from the Q&A uh, Jack Cooper on Facebook asks where did you get your arsenal jacket um, my aunt uh, me and my mom went to North Carolina to visit my aunt one summer and this is back when they had first confirmed the arsenal jacket like I was gonna be Malcolm Merlin I was going to do like a whole Dark Archer thing, but then they confirmed and they showed Colton Haynes' jacket. I was like, I must do that. I must do this. And so we went to the jacket store. We bought a regular black leather jacket, and my aunt tailed it. She put the, grom she put the grommets, the um, the little circles on the edges, and she did that for me. I already had a bow. All, all, all I had to do was paint my bow red and black. And uh, I, did some, I did some jeans because that's, you know, like... I want to be the character, but I want to be comfortable also. Because people don't understand, you can exactly dress like the character, but you got to make sure you're comfortable because you're going to be walking around in them clothes all day. So you just got to make sure of that. But uh, it was my aunt. Uh, she's actually working on two projects for me right now. Uh, I won't reveal them just yet because I got to make sure that, you know, we can make it happen. Trust me, if we can get through all this for New York Comic Con, it's going to be hot. I promise you that. And he also asked, who would win in a fight between the Avengers or the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Funny thing is I have a picture that I bought from, uh, what was it called? What was it called? I forgot. Um, it was a big artist convention at the pier. And it was something like the Green Ranger and the Dragons were beat up like Hulk and the Justice League and the Avengers and all of that. I mean, which Avengers team are we talking here? Because, I mean... If they don't got Hulk, I think we're good. Like, I, I'm so confused. Like, Jay, I think I think Jason David Frank can beat up the fighters. Like, I think he can take on Hawkeye and Black Widow. And maybe Captain America. Like, I might have to leave this one in a tie, because I, I didn't think about this before I answered the questions. But uh, JT Tucker asks, who's more powerful, the Spectre or Spawn? Oh, man. Spawn dethroned God and the devil like both of them so and the specter is like i think the, the embodiment of like everything you know i'm gonna go with my man spawn i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with spawn on that one fan cast for lobo too serious and too humorous uh one serious one is danny trejo i really really want him to beat lobo because i really feel like he's got the look and the attitude and everything is down packed for him to be Lobo. So what, he's old, so what? Like, that doesn't even matter anymore. Like, you don't even, don't even give me that. My second serious choice, I really haven't really thought of anybody else, to be honest with you, but just somebody who can curse, and who's a badass, and who can just, anyone really that can make us believe it, it's gotta be like, it's gotta be like Big Daddy Lobo. Like, you gotta get someone like Josh Brolin status to be him. And I don't know who else can do it, seriously, but humorous, uh, let's see, humorous-wise, who could play Lobo in a humorous, humorous way just because? Um, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill as Lobo would be great because just, just, I want you all to just imagine it. Just imagine everything about that. Uh, you gain the powers of Sue Storm. First thing you do with them. This is gonna sound really sadistic, but I've always wanted to have her powers to, like, suffocate people. Like, just put people in a... put a bubble around their head, and then just, like, watch them suffocate and die. 
I'm sorry. Not really, but you know. Other than that, I would definitely use it to like be like a magician of sorts, like a street performer. And I would use her powers to like walk on water and get and get some profit from people, you know. Use it to make some money, you know, like walk on water, you know, fly on water, do all that stuff and just be invisible. Who doesn't want to be invisible? The places I would go if I were invisible. I would meet all the celebrities at comic events and be like click click how'd you get them pictures don't worry about it i got the pictures don't you worry your pretty face about nothing favorite zod terrence stamp or michael shannon michael shannon although terrence stamp was T terrence stomp terrence stamp really did a good job at being like the evil general and michael St michael shannon got to hit stuff and he was just what I would have, like, they, they're they both what I imagined Zod to be. So, I'm going to say Michael Shannon because it's the more recent one. And he was turning to Doomsday, so. Oh my god, Michael Stamp should come back somehow. Terrence Stamp, whatever. Dark Phoenix, Mr. Dark Phoenix, me, versus God Doom JT. Him, to the death. Hmm. Me. Because I know how to handle Dark Phoenix. Actually, fun, awful facts, but I had to bring this. I always feel like someone's going to bring it up. I forgot what story it was, but I know Scott had a Phoenix egg, and he turned into Dark Phoenix again, or Phoenix. I'm not sure what, what his power level was. And he got to fight God Doom, and God Doom beat his ass. But Scott Scott don't know how to use it like I do. So it's okay. I'm going to be the Rachel Summers of the Phoenix Force. I'm going to contain that shit 100% and use 100% of his power. I'm going to beat up Galactus. Because it's going to be fun. Mr. Dark Phoenix guess on who met Lucille on The Walking Dead. Um, I have so many theories on that. I, I It can't be Glenn, because that would be way too obvious. Characters trade deaths, characters trade arcs, characters go through things they didn't normally go through. So, for it to be Glenn, that's not cliffhanger worthy. For it to be Abraham is not cliffhanger worthy. Because I love Abraham, don't get me wrong, I love the actor that's playing. He looks exactly like how he does in the comic books. But that's not cliffhanger worthy. I really think it's going to be Daryl. Because that would be cliffhanger worthy. That's like, we come back and it's like, you're mad, I didn't show you who I killed. You're going to be more pissed when you find out who I did kill. Um, it can't be Rick or Carl or Michonne. That's my trinity of the unkillable. You cannot kill them at all. Like... It centers around Rick. If Carl goes, Rick turns into Shane, and nobody wants that. And Michonne, because she's the only black person that's actually lived this far. R.I.P. Tyrese. I miss you so much. But that's who I think it is. Uh, Daryl might be too hurt for Negan to even touch. So maybe What's-His-Face did that on purpose. But we're just going to have to wait and see. But for 3,000 subscribers, for I think even now almost, almost 3,200 of you... I want to do a really big giveaway video. So, in case you guys don't know, you've seen my superhero stuff unboxings. I do a lot of those. That's how I got all the awesome stuff that I get, like my Black Panther Funko and my Murica bottle opener and a lot of other cool stuff. I'll leave the card somewhere in here in the description. You guys can check them out. I am giving away the Suicide Squad box. The gold box. That is $69. Funny, I know. But I am doing that for you guys. Like I said, all you have to do to enter, this is going to be a little bigger giveaway, so I'm going to have to maybe give it two things. But all you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. Brownie points, if you follow me on Twitch, all my links will be in the social media bar below. My twitch.tv slash MrDarkPhoenix. I play games on there. I make fun of stuff. It's just fun commentary and a lot of good gameplay. In case you guys want to see more of me, I'm streaming more often now the TV's off for a little bit or I have less TV to do. But I really love to have you guys on my YouTube family, be part of my Twitch family. And it's really fun, I promise you. It's twitch.tv slash MrDarkPhoenix. One Suicide Squad box, golden edition. $69, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much again. Let's try and do a whole bunch of stuff. Comment, rate, subscribe, share with all your awesome, nerdy friends. And always remember, have to do good times and bad times. Remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'll catch you guys next time for another great video. From the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so much again. You guys make this so worthwhile. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm so glad to do giveaways. And let's just get this giveaway started. Hardcore